Design your own study Bible. This is podcast number 100. It's at the basic level and requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software or Hebrew or Greek. Study Bibles are enormously popular. Easy to carry to your favorite Bible study or prayer group, they are the all-in-one multi-tool of biblical studies. They come in all varieties, as a simple trip to your local Bible bookstore will show. I zipped down to ours in Winter Haven, Florida today. I thought I'd see what kind of study Bibles they have in stock. Inside, I found an entire wall of study Bibles with a whole section devoted to just the NIV. They include many of the ones currently available in accordance and a few we don't yet have. Here's a stack of just a few of them. Now, I really wasn't interested in what each study Bible looked like on the outside, but how it was arranged on the inside. Here's the Thompson Chain Reference Bible with the text in two columns and its chain reference system to either side. Here's the Life Application Study Bible, another favorite, with the text, notes at the bottom, and its cross-references on the inside. This is the most common study Bible layout. The ESV Study Bible, like many others, features front matter that introduces the Bible, each testament, and each book, an end material that rounds out its basic page layout, in-depth articles, a concordance, and an atlas. And of course, let's not forget the optional tabs we can add to access all that additional material quickly. Those of us who study the Bible have been doing this sort of customization for a long time. Now, let's see how Accordance makes all of this even better. Design our own. Designing your own study Bible in Accordance has a number of advantages. First, we can choose our resources and mix and match them to our heart's content. Secondly, we can select the font, size, color, and background. After all, how many times have you struggled to read text that was too small in a dimly lit room or with a blindingly white page in a room with too much light? Third, we can arrange our own layouts, adding as many additional zones as we want. Fourth, we can add as many extra tabs as we need. Fifth, and finally, we can swap study Bibles at any time simply by choosing a different saved workspace. Here are step-by-step -step instructions to create our own custom study Bibles. Select a main text, add as many parallel resources as we want, then arrange them however we'd like, open resources directly from the library to create additional zones, and then move and rearrange them. Remember, we can also transform tabs into zones and zones into tabs. And finally, we save the entire workspace so it can be recalled easily. Let's see how all this works in real time. Select a main text from among any of the many Bibles and languages in accordance. Now, add parallel resources using this button. There's a wide variety from which to choose. Commentaries, Bible study notes, cross-references, other translations, diagrams, and syntax trees. Now, we arrange them however we like. Just grab the title bar and drag and drop it to a new location. Use the Settings button to move items up or down a row. Click and drag pane boundaries to resize panes. Open resources directly from the library to create additional zones or tabs. These resources can be anything in our libraries, from commentaries to Accordance's Interactive Bible Atlas. Once again, we then move and rearrange them. The layout is entirely a matter of personal preference. However, remember number four, transform tabs into zones and zones into tabs. Turning a zone into a tab is a really good solution to a message like this. A tab is independent, just like a zone. Its contents are just hidden to save monitor space. Finally, number five, don't forget to save the entire workspace so it can be recalled easily. Sample study Bibles. 
Here's the first sample study Bible I designed. I call it the Defender of the Faith Study Bible. It uses the King James Version and the New King James Version side by side with a combined Hebrew Masoretic text and Greek New Testament, the Textus Receptus, of course. The cross references are on the left, the New King James notes on the right. Underneath are four sets of study Bible notes the Apologetic Study Bible, the Schofield Study Bible, the Archaeological Study Bible, and the Reformation Study Bible. Imagine taking this to your next Bible study. This Pentecostal Study Bible uses both the Fire Bible Theme Finder and the Fire Bible Study Notes. I've chosen the Korean Revised Version for this main text, as this international group is actually much larger outside the United States. Here are three reference tools. The Life and the Spirit New Testament Commentary, Stanley Horton on Corinthians, and the Legacy Dake Study Bible Notes. Now, if you don't happen to read Korean, consider swapping it out for any of the many other non-English modern language Bibles or one of your favorite English translations. What about something a bit more scholarly? Check out this Greek Geek Study Bible. It uses the grammatically tagged NA28 text, the Greek grammatical syntax, and the Greek diagrams. The obvious choice for an apparatus is the CNTTS with the USB Translator's Handbook for a commentary. Notice this scholar isn't satisfied with just second-hand reports. Yep, that's an image of the Sinaiticus manuscript on the right. How about a study Bible for Catholics? Well, this one has a trusty Douay Reims, a tagged Latin Vulgate, and the beautifully literary New Jerusalem Bible. Of course, no such Bible should be without the Catholic Study Bible notes or the Ancient Christian Commentary on Scripture. This one also has three separate zones, one each for Summa Theologia, the Order of the Mass, and the Catholic Catechism. Now that you've seen all of these, what will you design? All of these study Bibles will work on any computer, including the new ultralight notebooks, like Apple's MacBook Air. But what about tablets? A study Bible layout on the current Accordance iOS is going to be limited to its two parallel panes, though its pop-up instant details will display cross-references, Bible notes, definitions, word tagging information, and other hypertext links. But what should we do if we want a tablet with all the power of the desktop version of Accordance? Well, right now, the only real choice we have is to buy a tablet like the Microsoft Surface Pro. We have it on good authority that it runs Accordance for PC just fine. There are a number of tablets available that run the full version of Microsoft Windows. Here's a recent review of 10 of them from PC Magazine. Any of them should be able to run Accordance for PC. Remember, if you own Accordance 10, you own Accordance for Mac, Accordance for PC, and the free Accordance for iOS. All you have to do is download it. Designing a custom study Bible in Accordance is easy, and we can enjoy the results for a long time. Easier access to study materials makes Bible study both more profitable and more enjoyable. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Mm -hmm.